another video. In this video, we'll show you how to sort your data from Salesforce using sort by functionality in a table. So let's go over to a table. Let's drag one over. And what I want to do is I want to bring back my opportunities. So let's do first 100. Click next, no filters required. Click next again. Let's add our columns. So we'll do name. We will do stage. We will do amount. And click apply. Relatively simple. Right, once we got a table, click preview. My use case is something like this. Sometimes I want to click on the amount and see the highest amount at the top and sometimes I want to see the lowest sometimes I want to see the um, A to Z I want to see Z at the top A at the bottom I want to I want to be able to sort it sometimes I'm going to do the stage as well now if I click on stage or name right now nothing really happens so I want to be able to allow that functionality how do I do it well there are a few ways you can click on the table click on settings go over to columns you can click on, you can see your relevant columns here and then click on the gear icon and you've got sort by functionality. If you check that, this is what happens. Click, click, click save, click refresh. And now if I click on name, you will see it will sort by just like that. You'll see that little arrow like that and it will go up and down like that. Very cool functionality. And as you can see, stage it's not available, amount it's not available either. And, um, and that's pretty much how you do it. You can also do it here. So allow sorting, check it, and you can check multiple here. So you can go, you know what, I want it for stage, I also want it for amount, just like that. And then you save it, and then you preview it. And now you can say, you know, I want to see the highest amount first, or these are no amounts in this case, lowest to highest and then you can do highest to lowest, just like that. All right, so this is the sort by functionality where you get the up and down arrows available within the table. And there are two ways to do it, as I've just explained. Hopefully you will find it useful.